Final leg, we're back here to continue with the lead into the 2020 Olympic season. Make sure you guys check out the last video I did on the men's 400 meter sprinters. Today though, we're talking about the women in the 400 meter. Just like the men, they come from all different countries around the world and have been making huge strides in the event. Let's start off though with Saoed Nasser from Bahrain. Of course, she was really the breakout in 2017. She managed to get to the world championships in London that year, get the silver medal. She ended the season with a personal best of 49.88 seconds, then 2018, was even better, very consistent. Her only loss that season came to Shawna Milowebo, but she walked away with a personal best of 49.08 seconds. So great performance there. 2019 was the huge year. She went undefeated, won the Diamond League Championship, and then went to the World Championships, getting the gold medal in a personal best of 48.14 seconds, moving her to number three all time in the 400 meters. So really on the cusp of breaking that 48 second barrier, showing that she is not to be forgotten and she is definitely going to be going for the gold medal in Tokyo next year. So look out for Nasser from Bahrain. Now moving down to the Bahamas, we have Shauna Miller-Webo. Since going pro from the University of Georgia early in 2013, she has been one of the huge prospects in the event. She managed to win the Olympic gold medal in Rio 2016, just diving for the line, overtaking Allison Felix in the final moments. She also has a silver medal from 2015 and from this year in 2019. She was the favorite coming into Doha, but was overtaken by Nasser in the final. She did walk away with a personal best of 48.37 seconds though, moving her to number six all time in the event that complements her other sub 49 second performance from last year of 48.97 seconds. In the 200, she also has some great allocates. In 2019 and 2018, she was the Diamond League champion. This year, she ran a personal best of 21.74 seconds and has also gone under 22 seconds three times in her career. So great performances there. She also was the 2017 Diamond League champion at 400 meters and between the London World Championships and the Doha World Championships, she went undefeated at 400 and 200. So great consistency from Shauna miller Weibo. We're definitely going to see her trying to defend her title in Tokyo next year. So look out for her. Still in the Caribbean, but this time in Jamaica, we have Sharika Jackson, also one of the most consistent athletes over the past couple years. 2015 was really that big breakout where she got the bronze medal at the World Championships in Beijing, running under 50 seconds for the first time. 2016, she filed things up at the Rio Olympics, again, getting that bronze medal. 2017, she unfortunately took a step back and only got fifth place at the world championships that year 2018 she managed to focus on the 200 meters coming away with a personal best of 22.05 seconds that year 2019 she stepped things back up again got to the doha world championships came out with a bronze medal again this time in a huge personal best of 49.47 seconds so sharika jackson really showing that she's here to stay and is going to be going for a spot in the podium next year in tokyo let's head over to the united states where we have phyllis francis one of the most consistent athletes since leaving the university of oregon she has made every single world and Olympic final since 2015. We saw her get seventh at the Beijing World Championships that year. Then 2016, she improved and got fifth in the Rio Olympic final. 2017 was the big year. She managed to capitalize and get the gold medal at the World Championships in London in a personal best at the time of 49.92 seconds. So not nearly as fast as some of the other ladies. Then 2019, she came away with the fifth place at the Doha World Championships. So not on the podium, but came away with a personal best of 49.61 seconds. So really, really great consistency from her and we're definitely going to see her fighting for a spot on the podium next year. Now, we can never forget about Allison Felix, one of the greatest athletes in track and field history. Of course, we know her allocates at 200 meters. She's a 2015 world champion in Beijing with a personal best of 49.26 seconds. Things started though back in 2011 when she got the silver medal there. She also got the silver medal at the Rio Olympics in 2016. Like I said, when Shawna Miller dived at the line just overtaking Allison Felix. But then Felix in 2017, got the bronze medal behind Francis and Nasser in London. She went under the radar in 2018 and had her child towards the end of the year. Came back in 2019, didn't make the individual 400 meter team, but did make the team to Doha and came away with some relay medals. She's going to be going for her final Olympic team in 2020 next year. So definitely going to be fighting not only for a spot on the team, but also for a podium spot. So look out for Allison Felix. Keeping it in the United States, we have Shakima Wimbley. She was a 2018 world indoor champion silver medalist. Then she followed things up outdoors getting the USA championship title winning in a personal best of 49.52 seconds so really great performance for her there she managed to defend her US title this year in 2019 booking her ticket to Doha unfortunately she couldn't make it through the semifinals she finished up and pulled up injured in the Doha semifinals she has definitely been very consistent on the Diamond League circuit so if that consistency continues she's definitely going to be fighting for a spot not only in the final in Tokyo but potentially pushing towards some medals so look out for Shakima Wimbley another American we have 
Wadlin Jonathis. While at South Carolina this year, she managed to win the NCAA title at 400 meters. She went on to get third at the USA Championships, getting her ticket to Doha. Then she came out in the Doha final, getting fourth place in a personal best of 49.60 seconds. So great performance for her there, just missing the podium and definitely showing she's going to be one to look out for in 2020 and for the years to come. Heading back to Jamaica, we have Chrisan Gordon. She actually won the NCAA title back in 2017. She made the team to London that year for Jamaica, but she only fortunately only made it through the semifinals. She has also run some heats in the 4x4 for Jamaica over the past couple years, so definitely has some experience there. This year and last year, she unfortunately was injured a little bit, but earlier this year, she did manage to run and was the 12th fastest performer in the 400 this year. She does have a personal best of 50.13, so significantly slower than some of the other ladies, but she definitely has a lot of potential and definitely going to be getting healthy going for a spot in Tokyo next year. Heading over to Botswana now, we have Christine Botlogetswe and Galafele Morocco. Both these ladies are very, very young. Botlogetswe has a personal best of 50.48 seconds and then Morocco has a personal best of 50.59 seconds. That ranked them number 9 and 10 respectively in the world this year in the 400 meters. Both of them ran the heats in Doha, didn't get past that, but again, they are very, very young and have a lot of potential. So keep a lookout for these two ladies from Botswana. From the United States, again we have Courtney Okolo another one back in the NCAAs was looked at as one of the huge prospects in the 400 meters she has multiple NCAA titles and the NCAA record which is a personal best of 49.71 seconds from 2016 she unfortunately hasn't made any outdoor teams but she was the world indoor championship gold medalist back in 2018 in Birmingham so great allocates there she has run a lot of 4x4s for the United States so she's definitely going to be going for a spot on the US team in Tokyo next year finishing things off we have Stephanie and McPherson from Jamaica, one of the most experienced athletes competing in the 400 meters right now. Back in 2013, she got the bronze medal at the Moscow World Championships. 2015, she got fifth place in Beijing. Then 2016, 2017, and 2019, this year, she got sixth place in the 400 meter final. She has a personal best of 49.92 seconds, so a little bit slower than some of the other ladies, but so much experience and definitely one to look out for next year. All right, so those are the ladies that we're going to be looking out for leading into 2020 next year. Make sure you guys leave a comment below. Let me know anyone that I might have missed or anyone you think is really going to be challenging for the podium in Tokyo next year. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we'll be back again very soon. Thanks.